Uh, this is Dr. Fred Beauvais from uh, CardioSource Video News, and uh, we are, uh, Dr. David Holmes and I, are talking about some recent data that was published about door-to-balloon times. We've known for a long time that there's an urgency to opening a blocked coronary artery that produces a myocardial infarction, and what we've seen is recently published from Dr. Har- Harlan Krumholtz, some data showing that our ACC door-to-balloon time program has really been very successful in achieving these improved times to, to MI therapy. Dave, you're an interventional cardiologist. You've probably done this a bunch of times. What's your thought about the uh, way this thing has gone over the last five years? Fred, it's great to be here with you. This is a, a hugely neat initiative. There are many different parts to this initiative. The first is to have started with the premise that increasing the speed with which we reperfuse an occluded artery is going to make a difference. And you mentioned the early information from Wiggers back in the 30s, and we knew that was important. The second was then to measure how we are doing with that. And so this was initially measured as part of what was the door-to-balloon time, as you know, where Dr. Krumholtz and his team went and measured how long it took. If you start with measuring what you have, then you can say how well you're doing with it. And it was staggeringly awful with tremendous room for improvement. The next piece of information that they did was to do a systems analysis to identify which were the problems with that. We were trying to make sure that that time was as short as we could, and then we were trying to then identify why it wasn't as short as it should be. They then identified a whole bunch of issues that could be changed, and that was published, and it became part then of the Door to Balloon campaign that ACC brought along in 2006. They then said, well, we need to make sure that this is working. And so now some four and a half or five years later, they then said, how are we doing with it? If we hadn't made any change, then obviously it would have been an awful statement about how we're doing with our systems. What they found was that indeed the door to balloon time had gone from 96 minutes down to 64 minutes, which in terms of myocardium saved, and we believe in terms of mortality decreased, that is to say survival increased, that we have made a huge difference. And the number of patients in whom we're able to achieve a door to balloon time, which is ideal, has increased dramatically to now 90% of patients. That's really what the findings were, is to say, number one, a problem was identified. Number two, system issues were identified. Number three, changes in systems were put into place. Number four, when measured, those changes had worked. Right. So I think we learned an important lesson that individual cardiologists really can't make a system come together like that. You need an organized program that will involve hospital management, nursing, emergency room, the cardiology group, getting the cath lab organized. One doc has trouble getting that all done. The ACC, in a national program, was able to organize that to the point where it really has made significant advances in survival and in shortening that time to preserve myocardium. So I think it's a wonderful study. It's a a wonderful program. And uh, it just shows what you can do if you get a bunch of people together that can develop a better system. There's a part of the loop that could be then closed in that it affects my life. Mm -hmm. Tell you how that happens. So in Rochester, Minnesota, when we're on call for the catheterization laboratory, We are called, and the clock starts at that point in time. The next morning, so if it's during the night, the next morning, I get an email that says, door to balloon time was 92 minutes. Did you have trouble getting out of bed? How were things? What were you doing? All of those sort of things in a very personal sort of way. So that is tracked on an individual basis, and that has resulted in dramatic decrease in door to balloon time. And I think the systems around the country use that type of approach so that there is immediate feedback to the physicians, to the health care team, all in an attempt to optimize the outcome of reperfusion therapy. Right. Well, I think this is really important information. It's, it's caused substantial improvements in 
overall health of people with acute myocardial infarction. And I think we'll be able to move this forward, going even from onset of symptoms to uh, balloon time as we move forward and make these systems better.